Hello, everybody, and welcome back to St. Cuthbert Plays Divinity Original Sin 2. Um, last time we left off, we were, oh, rather, we were on a boat headed towards Fort Joy, which is this prison island for sorcerers. And uh, we, the magic mage lady, I don't even know what her name was. I, I forget. I didn't check. Um, she used some, this big source spell, which destroyed a lot of the uh, magisters as well as knocking us out. Um, we'll just talk to this child once we get, once I stop talking. Um, so she destroyed the boat. She attracted the void woke and the void woke and came this giant underwater void woke and came and destroyed our ship. And we, or the entire crew drowned supposedly, um, except for we were saved by some magic sky man voice. I'm not sure if it was in our head or if it was actually some greater entity or what. Um, so we'll have to figure that out. But anyway, here we are. We're on the shores of Fort Joy, it looks like. Um, so we're kind of prisoners on the island as in the fact that we can't escape. But we're not prisoners in the sense that they know we're here. So we're kind of free to walk around. But judging by the fact that there's a kid here, I feel like prisoners are free to walk around anyway. So let's start by talking to this kid here. has a small mirror in his hand. He holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, the crown of his head. He spots you at- I'm not supposed to talk to lizards. He's not supposed to talk to lizards, so we got this- uh, I don't know if there's a thing between the races that lizards did something to humans or what. Um, let's tell them lizards are famous storytellers, why not? Like what kind of stories? Um, Fast Dragon King that married a beautiful elf. Visha the famed lizard adventure who slay the seven-headed snake of arm. I'm gonna do the Dragon King. Dragon. You want me to tell the tale of the dragon, but despite your best efforts, you notice that your knowledge of legends and monsters is somehow upsetting me. Are you a sorcerer? One of those guys that brings the bad void things here. Um, so I'm going to guess he's a sorcerer too, considering the fact that he has a source collar and he's in Fort Joy and he's clearly not a magister. I mean, potentially just his parents were... So I don't know if it's indicative if your parents are sorcerers, you're going to be a sorcerer. So maybe just his parents are here and he got brought along anyway. Um, I'm going to ask him if I'm going to say that he, yeah, he looks like a sorcerer too because of source color. Unafraid, searching your face. He lifts his mirror to his nose, closes one eye and looks at himself. I don't see any source on you or me. <laughs> I guess they're wrong or crazy. Uh, maybe they're wrong and crazy. I like that line. At least they don't mind where anyone goes. They know we can't leave the island, but it's a lot nicer out here than inside. Okay, so they don't mind where anyone goes. So I don't think we're going to end up being restricted in our movements around Fortnite as long as we don't cause any trouble, it sounds like. Um, that's just parents know where he is. They're gone now. The took them parents. Now they're cured. Like I was saying before, I think the cure is probably going to end up being something bad, like either you're just dead or you're like lobotomized or something. Um... It's just not safe here. Ship is attacked with a weapon. Uh, I swear I'm asking my see if I ever safe to go. Oh. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna be done with him. So, um, I don't know how worth it it is to loot all the little um vases and crates and stuff i'm gonna end up doing most of them probably uh, but i don't think i can go out of my way to do vases and stuff like that or barrels or whatnot i think it's mostly gonna be food um or empty like that um so anyway like um we have an auto save that's probably because there's gonna be combat up ahead let's see yeah here we go we have some void woken get these boys all right so these guys are easy pickings um if the fight on the ship was any Indication. All right, so I can get them both with this knockdown. Yeah, so these guys are super easy because they don't have any physical or magic armor, so I can just get knockdowns immediately. Um, then, like, right into a shield. And I'll just get up close for the next fight, or for the next round of combat. Uh, so these guys are kind of just easy pickings. Um, <laughs> apparently, they speak to you as well in this creepy... I don't even know what voice. Um, yeah, let's... Rid of this boy and knock down the other one. Alright, so we're not even gonna take damage just combat. Be quick and easy. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. Um to keep those things at bay. Oh, that's a good point. The college are supposed to keep those things at bay. Um, 
more things like that, some more food, consumables. Um, so yeah, um, so our goal for this episode, um, like I was explaining last episode, is really going to be to have a follower, or to find a follower, like I, um, we were talking to Los before on the ship, I think I really want to get her, if at all possible. Um, so I think we're going to end up finding those, there, there's a main city hub, um, I think it's around here somewhere, there's a, there's a little hub um, for this island anyway, this act that you can find some of the followers low. So actually, here's the Red Prince right here. So actually, I'm going to talk to him and see what he has to say. Strange lizard, gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent stare. His skin is of a bright blood red color. Yes, you recognize him from the ship. Oh, so he's, yes, yeah, so he's in the ship. not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. Um, so these people surviving, I know all the origin characters survive. I don't know if that's because they're also protected by this sky man this god whatever you want to call him that saved us or if they just all managed to somehow get on shore that's why they're origin characters because they managed to swim shore or whatnot so i guess we'll find that out later on uh greet him heartily say so glad to see you survived with the graceful ease of a dancer or a duelist you lock eyes with his two smoldering embers that sizzle your very soul. I did survive, yes. Oh. And chances are I wouldn't have had you not returned to the aid of your fellow passengers down so this guy owes us. dreadful hole. You have my gratitude. Hand over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. More than a nod, though less than a bow. Okay, so uh, glad to see you could be of help. Doesn't do to stand alley about when people are in danger. Scoff and say you owe but one gratitude. Um... Mm, I think to him, I'm not going to, I'm going to be a dick to the magisters, I think, but to everybody else, I'm going to be fairly friendly because I was, I'm a soldier barbarian, so I'm kind of a mix. Yes, I'm sure you've all the makings of a hero and all that, but let's not get carried away. No, so this guy's kind of a dick anyway. Now then, if there's nothing further. Um. So I think if I take this path here, wonder what he plans to do next, I can end up having him join me. I'm going to hold off on that and just take my leave so I can come talk to him later if I decide I want him. If I, Because I think he's end up it's going to be more physical, but I think he's going to be a fighter similar to me considering the fact that he's a sword and shield. Um, but like I said before, I might be able to change their roles. I might be able to tell him, hey, I want you to be a ranger instead of being a fighter. But for right now, I'm just going to leave. I'm going to try to find Los because I think she's kind of cool. All right, um, where are we going? A black cat. Oh. Sorry, my screen just kind of froze there. The Ooh, hello, kitty. Clouded and gray, but it stares at you with its eyes clear. I really want to get that pet pal talent so I can talk to animals and get all that dialogue from them. Who's over here? Trice. Can I get over this way? Yeah, I can. Who's Trice? Oh, another child i guess mister, is a lot nicer here than that stinking boat huh is it just true i don't was she on the boat with us oh she's one of the people that got off on the um light boats remember it was her and the dwarf sitting in the boat so she must have been i guess the two of them survived or however many people ended up getting on that boat i don't think there were many if i remember correctly it was very few um, so let's keep going here um, I would like to find that city hub just to either buy materials, find a follower for or first and foremost, just cause I'd like to, I think after those first little crap void woken ones that have no armor, magic resist or whatever, um, I think it's going to be fairly easy or fairly difficult to fight just by myself. Once you start getting into more difficult battles, I'm kind of walking in circles here, aren't I? Yeah. Where am I going? Let's go further down the, the side of this cape here. Oh. Oh. This is like... I, guess, I think um, to find secrets like this, your perception needs to be a certain level. Or your perception, I guess they call it wits, whatever. Other armor. Nice bow. All right, I'm going to equip that armor. Uh, let's see here. And while I'm... Here we go. While I'm in here, I'm going to throw some of those consumables that I got. I'm not going to throw food in my backpack just because those are out of combat anyway. And it doesn't look like they actually heal you. Effects unknown. So I'm going to actually try eating just because I'm curious. Oh, so they do heal you. So a food heals you. I'm sure like raw lumpy giblets probably don't heal you. Um, beer probably has some kind of effect. Alcohol, anything like that probably has some kind of side effect to it. Um, 
Oh, this is one of those craft books. So if you read, it gives you the opportunity to learn how to craft whatever's in the book. So die by the sword, learn how to read. I assume it's Sora's weaponry, basic stuff like our little knife on a stick thing here. Um, all right, let's keep going. What do we have? Oh, so another save. So I'm going to guess more combat. I, assu I assume it gives you an auto save before most combats or big combats anyway. Oh, so this is the little uh, town. Oh, so this must be, uh, yeah, Bishop Alexander. This is the guy that's the God Woken. Which, like I was saying before, is like the super strong, powerful sorcerer. Which I'm kind of confused that he's in charge of this. But I guess because he's God Woken, they see him as kind of more than a sorcerer who probably is anti void woken i guess we know you've been helping sorcerers escape Asusta. we have proof maybe i'm wrong about that though maybe void or um not void woken i'm sorry god woken are just the complete opposite of void woken they have nothing to do with sorcerers at all i'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you alexander i know nothing of any escape oh, this can't be good if you can tell the god woken no more your tongue <laughs> is of no use that's horrifying. Cut your own tongue out. Can you imagine? You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. Whatever she um, I don't think I want to get in the middle of this. I feel like that's a really bad idea for me, because then they're going to know who I am. Uh, mix my yourself. Step forward, saying injustice. Shout whether she's telling the truth or lies. Um, presume that he's been great. Run pretty tyrants. Call your shaking master. Tell him to hurry up. Hungry. Um... I'm gonna do this one. My stomach turns, your heart reaches out your kin, but your hands feel frozen at your side. I think. Oh, she, so she just cut her own tongue out, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think she would lie to his only son, your bishop. And Didn't cutting the thing out prove that she wasn't lying though? It's so, like, I wouldn't lie, so I like, actually cut my tongue out to prove it to you, but he's still like, oh, you're lying, you bitch. Um, alright. hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the void, Alec. So it's just straight, like, cult level shit. Yes, your holiness. I believe we're done. What is she doing? Oh, God. <laughs> That's, uh, that's brutal here. Oh, uh, am I not allowed in here? I guess I just gotta wait for this hoe to leave. All right, interesting. So, but we got a level up there, so I guess her dying. I'm not gonna take her leg. Um, the reason they do this is because I believe elves, um, have the ability to eat corpses, which gives them, uh, health stats. I think you can get some of their memories, that sort of thing. So... That's why they give body parts, but I'm obviously not going to take them because I have no need for them. Now let's throw these consumables in the backpack. I guess the resurrection scroll just went right in. With the other stuff? Yeah, so I have three resurrection scrolls. So like I said, resurrection scrolls are really kind of common. Um, So I guess it's pro where they expect you to die a lot, or at least characters to die frequently. Because I mean, we have three resurrection scrolls. We just at level two. We haven't even got a party yet. So uh, I feel like this game is going to get real difficult. Um, all right, let's level up anyway. Uh, so I have a couple points to spend here. Because I have low in Wall Street, I'm going to get bonuses in each one of these. So I'm probably just going to bump my con and strength up early game. I want my con to be as high as possible. And my strength obviously boosts my damage and my carry weight, which is kind of just nice. Um, and my con is obviously just my vitality. So it adds an extra point of, I don't know how much per or percent per tick of constitution. Vitality gives you, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw a lot in there just so I'm really tanky. Because right now I have what 83 HP. Um, so I don't know if it's worth putting more in warfare here. If I want to start going into things like retribution or my weapon damages. Um, so what is this? Physical attack deal 25% more damage or retribution. Reflect 5% damage. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking some damage reflection. Actually, I get two points because of the. Lone Wolf, so I reflect 10% damage to I take. So that's really nice. Um, civil abilities. Again, I'm going to boost my persuasion, I think. Just so I can talk my way out of situations. Yes, I think we're also going to quick save here. 
Okay, there we go. Quick save successful. All right, so I think let's go through this town and see if we can find Lois and recruit her. Um, come on, legsy, pay up. All right. Let me teach this beast. He must respect. If not, he comes for you next. Respect? Huh. Someone's got to keep this place running. Griff can't do it for free. Why? Griff must be like campus. An intense looking man steps between the thug and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well muscled and heavily scarred arms. This guy's seen some crap. Just stand aside, won't you, mate? This is no business of yours. Lone wolves decide their own business. <laughs> it's a reference to the, uh, the trait. Before shuffling back to the protection of his cronies. This guy sounds like a little pansy. Buy up, elf. No one shorts Griff. Especially not one of you. Oh, so I guess they have like taxes? But this this guy Griff. Um I guess they decide them. Beating up on this poor lady. Tense looking man stands beside you against the thugs, shooting you an appraising glass. Burrow looks you both up and down, sizing up your combined throat. I'm gonna go ahead and say he probably can't take us. Level two. I don't know if Connor's on his team. It might just be him. Ah, get out of here. The both of you. You ain't worth the sweat, my brat. The elf smiles and bows to you in thanks. Follow me before more of them trouble us. I was like, I guess he's just scared. There is a safe place. Safe place. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wait to follow her, I assume, in my journal. Yeah, it, it, I can go ahead and do it. Uh, certain resistance. It must be the escape. Grim Fortress Squares. Perhaps someone will ask. Okay, we should look around. I hear Mr.'s voice, Magistrate and Oz, the one that is and perhaps other dissenters will help us escape. Um, I couldn't find a way to remove my claw of the ship. Maybe someone will be able to help me on this island. And, oh, this is this must be the here. The Alf Elodi. Elodi? Uh told us a safe place where we can think or talk safely. We shouldn't we should follow her there. So yeah, we can go and do that later. So I think we're gonna go try to find Lois first, just kinda of round out my party here. Speaking of Lois, actually she's right there, so I'm gonna just talk her right now. Losa, the dark-eyed jokes to you met aboard the ship, waves enthusiastically and dips into a mock elegant curtsy. Back then, <laughs> I was uh, Madame Josephine Gribbles de Plug, and you were... So she must be like some kind of actor or something? Glad to see you made it. Nothing like a nice tentacle slap across the moor to set the tone for the week, <laughs> How'd you Yeah, no kidding. Um, do I tell her I'm in front of the boat, but you didn't make it? The rest is blurry. Um, I'm gonna just use a not sure. Oh, nearly lost. Did you oh, her too. When you were in oh, so maybe she is like us. Maybe she heard that voice. Um, I want to be honest with her. I think it would help her want to join my party. I'm gonna say yeah. Strange voice. Oh, okay. See, so yeah, it seems like all the origin characters were saved by this. God or whatever you want to call him to voice in the sky. Losa's voice catches in her throat. The joy drains from her face. Her eyes lose focus and she is stock still, waxy skinned, her eyes dark. Grayish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. Oh God, what's going on? Uh, I'm going to ask if she's all right. Snaps to you mechanically and her eyes lock with yours. Dark pupils dilated into great black void. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. The gray veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. I have no idea what that just was. <laughs> She's just so nonchalant about it. What's going on? Um, I'm gonna oh, confront her about it. Nothing really. It's just I'm just a bit, well, a bit hospitable. Oh, so she can be like possessed? Is that what she's saying here? Um, she should. No, I think I'm going to go ahead and tell her she has to elaborate. You've never been a host, I bet. That's because you're an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. <laughs> Interesting but metaphor there. A roadside inn, red door, flowers out front. Friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price, like a goddamn gold star in for the disembodied. Oh, so she is like a vessel to, for 
spirits or demons or whatever I guess you want to call them. Now, isn't that That's where she's hosting. Of the hour? I can't be sure just yet. I'll be surprised if it's a demon. Definitely not a sprite either. Maybe a spectre, but I wouldn't bet money on it. So, Interesting. How are you enjoying the joy? Um, she might just taught me something about being a danger to yourself and society. Um, say you heard the accommodation exceptional head, see for yourself. I'm gonna go ahead with that because she's really sarcastic and I think on a banter with her. So true. And you can stay as long as your heart desires. <laughs> Free charge. charge. I like her a lot. You wanna check this place out together? Strength and numbers. Oh, so she's asking us to join. Uh sounds like a good idea. I I'm just gonna go right with that. Messaging not about choke, but no, I'm gonna just go say yeah, sounds like a great idea. Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve. So you'll have to pick Oh, so it does sound like I can pick which class she ends up being. Lately, I've been into the enchanting arts. Yes, yeah, so she's an enchantress. Flash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. So, what'll it be? Uh little muscle affinity, little dexterous affinity for the arcane arts. I'm going to go with finesse because I want a ranger. I'm not afraid of getting my hands greasy if that's what you mean. What are you interested in exactly? Uh, looks so I'm going to strike this with the bow across, but that's really what I'm looking for, a ranger. I could also do... Well, do I want someone who can pick locks? That's a really good question. Um... I don't know. I can probably get scrolls or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead with Ranger, like I said. I'm sorry if you hear my dog barking. I just got a couple new puppies and they're a big pain in the butt. Alright. She's gone now. But yeah, we just got a, a couple puppies that are super adorable, so they're my they're my record recording partners. Uh that's where we're gonna go. Uh no, that settles it, yeah. Well, that was easier than I thought. And I'll do my best to stay myself. Okay, um, so if I select her, can I? Because she doesn't have the lone wolf trait, right? So I guess I gotta wait till she levels up before I can get it. Yeah, so she might be a little weaker to start off before we get the lone wolf going. Um, so it make make for an interesting early game. What else does she have? Just huntsman. It's pyrotechnic. Pyrokinetic, not pyrotechnic. But she does she uses fire spells as well. Do rangers do that? I'm not actually sure. Um so yeah, actually we just got this nice bow, I'll give that to her. Yeah, it gives plus one finesse, so it's slightly better than the bow she has. Um what does she has? She has some resurrection scrolls. Oh, so I select different people. I get it replaced the hot bar. So let's do that. Um, does she have any potions on her? Yeah. Throw that in there. Uh, and then we're just gonna clear out the rest of this hot bar here. What are the ricochet? Fire normal arrow that deals 79 physical damage and finds another target within five meters. Forks up to two times. That's kind of cool. It's a nice AOE. Uh, peace of mind. So you get intelligence wits by two. Remove blindness, terrified, charm, taunt, sleeping, and range, and mad. So that's really good as a buff. I must our target surface and melee radius for one turn elements will damage matching that surface is added to your ranged weapon attacking and ranged weapon based skills. Oh, so you can make so if it feels like there's fire on the ground or there's oil or there's uh water or something like that, your arrows do that kind of damage. Um So I think what I'm really wanting to want to do with that is because if you're doing the elemental damage, it's gonna do magic damage rather than physical. So I think if you do blood specifically, it does bleed damage, which is physical. So I'm gonna to wanna to keep my eye out for that and just play around with that. Um uh, encourage, that's the human base trait. Um it increased primary abilities by one. So that's really nice. Maddening song. Sing causing characters in your target area to become mad. Maddening characters will attack those nearest them regardless of alignment. Oh, oh, but you see uh, top right corner, the casting cost, it has that red. That requires a source point. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. That must be her base source. Because she's, not because she's human, but because of her her origin character, Lois. She's a, a performer, she sings. Um, so that must be kind of her thing. I'm going to put these arrows in there. Knockdown arrow, that's going to be really good. Fire arrow. Uh, knockdown arrow is great because I can use it to kite. I can just knock people down and move away. Uh, let's do buffs over here, damage over here. Don't need that. Don't need that. Move that back this way. 
All right, so we have Los in our party officially. I'm gonna quick save. All right, so I think the first thing we're gonna wanna do is follow, this must be the cavern entrance, which um, that girl, El Elodie? Elodie, is that what her name was? Yeah, that must be Elodie. Um, I'm gonna guess that marker there is the cavern that she was saying is a safe place. So we're gonna go ahead and head that way, I think. I think we just gotta go straight back out. Nope, by the way. So we're going all the way through town. Um, I'd like to find a vendor just to sell some stuff, see what they have. Also, I want to find this camp boss Griff or whatever they want to call him, Griff, that this guy was talking about who seems to be in charge just because I'm curious. Please your own, please. This guy's begging. Oh, this is Griff. So yeah, he's a camp boss. I'm going to talk to Griff. Griff is slowly methodically peeling the skin from a potato. As you approach, he looks up, setting the potato, but not the sharp little knife down on the table. Oh. Um, so he's kind of imposing. Um, got some knife of the pies, just here. No, I'm gonna go ask the judge around. I don't Who's asking? get bullied. Um, well, Emma has some questions. Try to buddy with buddy to him. Holds the little knife up to the light, watching oh God, this guy is I'm listening. actually just super full of himself. Um, Doug and Sarah's counselor say you're looking for a way out of this place. See, I heard it's a good friend to have asked if anything can help. I don't want to tell him I'm looking for a way out of this place because I just don't trust him. Uh, and he feels like he's kind of settled here, so I don't think he'd want to escape because he kind of has power. So I feel like that'd just be bad idea to talk about that. Who knows about the magistrates and cure for sorcery? Um, I was just asking me to interested in Trey right now. Um, when I learn some more things about him, I will go ahead and talk to him more. Invisibility potion. Interesting. Um, so I'm going to just put most of this over here. Shop rock. Um, I've read both of these, so I'll just get rid of them. Is this my shield? Oh, no. It's just a different shield that I picked up, I guess. I don't need the wand. I'm going to give this to Los. Um, rid of this. The food, I don't really care all that much about. I think you heal out of combat anyway. Oh, does, is, was that not? Does right click not move them over? I guess I gotta. Oh, it's left click. Just trade all that, I think. Uh, this balances everything out. I can't afford anything he has, I don't think. Potion. All right, We're cool. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, and I did want to give Los this, this water arrow. All right, let's go to that cave that's marked on a map. I think it's just right down here. Get the doggo. Yes, yeah, so it's right over here. All right, anyway, it's worth kind of moving along on time here. So I think that is where we're going to end the episode. We'll do a quick save here. Um, so thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy what you saw, please leave a like or comment. Um, if you'd like to see more, please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.